Howdy High Tides, I'm Jed Hoffman with Beachville News. Now, every Sunday, I like to kick back, relax, and watch some football, like the NFC East division-leading Eagles go birds. Now, what about football in the fantasy realm? Fantasy football. There are many things that come into play when talking about fantasy football. One of the key things is injuries. On my team alone, Saquon Barkley, who was my first round pick, got injured. Henry Ruggs got injured. Raheem Moster, one of my favorite running backs in the league, injured. And there's multiple more. Like in the first week, I got 160 points, which is a lot. And in this week, I can barely make it to 90. Speaking of 90, 290 is how many votes, electoral votes, Joe Biden has right now, depending on who you ask. Let's talk about some of the craziness going on in this year's election. Hey, High Tides. As you may have heard, this weekend, Joe Biden was named the next president of the United States of America. As I'm recording this, Joe Biden currently has 290 electoral college votes, while Donald Trump has 214. So starting January 20th at noon, Joe Biden and his running mate Kamala Harris will be the next president and vice president of the United States of America, replacing the current president, Donald Trump, and his vice president, Mike Pence. Thanks for watching, High Tides, and see you later. Even though Breast Cancer Awareness Month might be over, it's still good to be aware about breast cancer. Now, here's some safety tips on breast cancer. Today we're going to be talking about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. What is Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Also referred to in America as National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, is an annual international health campaign organized by major breast cancer charities every October to increase awareness of the disease, and to raise funds for research into its cause, prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and a cure. The campaign also offers information and support to those affected by breast cancer. Why Pink? In 1990, the first breast cancer survivor program was launched at the Susan G. Komen Race for a Cure in Washington, D.C. Later that year, pink buttons were made by the program to help spread awareness. So what is breast cancer? Well, breast cancer is a group of diseases in which cells in the breast tissue can change and divide uncontrolled, typically resulting in a lump or mass. Did you know that men are also at risk of getting breast cancer? In fact, it is estimated that in 2020, about 2,620 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in men, and about 520 of them will die from breast cancer. So I leave you guys with this final message. Please, please, please don't forget to do a self-checkup on yourself, and if you're not comfortable doing a self-checkup, go to a doctor and get one professionally done. This isn't something to take lightly, and we are all at risk of breast cancer. Let's continue spreading positivity and awareness for this disease so that we can have a brighter future and a possibility for a cure. Wow, this week's episode sure was short, eh? Well, before we leave you, let's check in with Second Opinions. Last time, no question was asked, so this week, we're hopping right to the chase. The chase being the question. Now, normally, I end every episode by saying... I've been Jed Hoffman, you've been you, goodbye. But, uh, my brother believes that I should end it with Stay Classy Beach High. Now, if you scan the QR code or check out the link in the description, you can choose which catchphrase I say moving on. Well, I can't pick a favorite for this week's episode, so I'm just gonna... Take, an old, you take a page from old Arnold's book and say, Beach Film News, I'm Jed Hoffman, I'll be back.